Here is a quick intro about how to set up an automation on a data server. The theory is really simple. There is a tool that manages your automations and it's called CronTab. In this video, I will show you how to use it. You can access CronTab by typing CronTab-E. When you are running CronTab for the first time, it will ask you which editor you would like to use. This time I will use mcedit. If you are new to the command line, I recommend you use mcedit as well. But if you have a preferred text editor already, like Nano or Vim, feel free to use your favorite. I type 3 and this is CronTab. This looks like a pretty counterintuitive user interface, right? But don't worry, you will get used to it very quickly. Here's a short description, it's really worth reading it, but the magic happens down here. Here you have to specify only two things. One, when do you want to run the command? And two, what is the command that you want to run? You can specify the when using five parameters, the minute, the hour, the day of the month, the month and the day of the week. For instance, if I wanted to run my command every midnight, it would look something like this. 0, 0, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. And the command which can be, I don't know, echo hello file.csv. Asterisk in programming usually means every. So in this case, this means that we want to run this command on every day of the week, in every month, and on every day of the month. And when it comes to hours and minutes, we will run it at 0 o'clock, 0 minutes, which is basically midnight. But if I wanted to run this every day at 2 a.m., I should change the hours to 2. Or if I wanted to run this every day at 2.30, I should keep the 2 and change the minutes to 30. Simple as that. And of course, you can change the rest of the parameters too. For instance, if you wanted to run this script only in August, I could change the asterisk for the month to 8th. And then this command would run in August, every day at 2.30 a.m. But you know, this is something that you won't need, so I will change this back to an asterisk. You can change your command too. I could replace this echo hello command with a script for instance. You can also schedule multiple things. Let's say I want to keep this echo command and run it every day at 2.30. But I want to add another command at 3.30. That would be 30 minutes. 3 hours, asterisk, 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 which means every day. So it would look like this. And let's say that the command will be echo by to file to.csv. There is one strange thing about CronTab, which is that after the last command you specify, you have to hit an extra enter and start a new line. This is very important, if you miss it, the last command won't run. So if you have only one command and you don't hit enter, it won't run. So I hit enter and I'm closing the editor by clicking the quit button in the bottom right corner. After closing the editor, I can see a feedback message that my cron tab has been installed. And here is another important thing to watch out for. In cron tab, you should always use full path names. This means that our recently set up test automation, I go back to cron tab, would put our file.csv into a wrong directory. Let's specify the right directory with the full path name. How to do it? Let's say I want to put this file.csv into my user's home directory and I'm in the right directory already, so I will just type pwd and this returns the full path name of the directory. So I will just copy this, go back to cron tab and paste it here. This is the 100% correct way to define my output file. Just for curiosity, Let's test this cron job. I will quit the editor again. I will check out the current date and the current time. The date is less important. The important part is the time. It's almost 5.02 p.m. So I will schedule my cron tab to run a few minutes after this. Go back to cron tab. And let's say I want to run this five minutes after 
17 o'clock, which means that in theory I will see the results of my automation in a few minutes. Exit and save it. And let's wait two minutes. I will clear my screen. Okay, it's about uh, 6, 9, 10 seconds after 1705, which means that our file should have been created. Let's check it out. And indeed, it's there. See? File.csv. Let's see what's in the file. Cat file.csv. Yes, it says hello. Now I know that my cron job is working. I can go back to cron tab and set the right timing. So for this example, to 10 minutes after midnight, cron tab dash e, 10 minutes after midnight. And then this one command will run every day, 10 minutes after midnight. Cool. Okay, next step, scripts. When using crontab, we will usually be scheduling scripts rather than commands. At least in this course, it will work like that. So let's talk a little bit about how to set up scripts in crontab in a proper way. Well, first of all, let's create a script. MC edit test script dot sh. By the way, sh means that this will be a shell script. I will put a test command into it. For the sake of example, we can use the very same command that we have used in crontab, echo, hello, or let's use hello there instead, and put this into home tommy file2.csv. I changed the hello to hello there and file.csv to file2.csv, so we will see a different output in a different file compared to the previous example. Before we quit and save everything, there is one more thing that you cannot forget about, and this is the shebang. In theory, shebang should be always at the beginning of your script when you create one, but when you are automating a script with crontab, it's especially important to have it there. If you miss it, your automation could break. Practically speaking, shebang is an extra line at the beginning of your script. When you are running a bash or a shell script, you should use this shebang in the attached articles, you can read more about the role and the specifics of the shebang. For this course, it's enough if you know that it has to be there. Okay, I quit the editor. Watch out, another common mistake is forgetting to make your script executable. I won't forget it now, and I will just type chmod777 test script.sh. This will make my script available and executable for cron tab. And if I go back to crontab, I can schedule this script. Let's see the date first. So the time is almost quarter past five. So I will schedule my cron job to quarter past five. And instead of my echo command, this time I will put here my script, home, Tommy, test script dot sh. Again, always use full path names and don't forget the extra enter at the end of your cron tab. Okay, I will exit and save it. And in a few minutes, my script will run. I clear my screen and let's wait a few minutes. Okay, we are after quarter past five, so the script should have run. Let's check it out. Nice. File2.csv is there. Let's see if it contains the hello there string cat file2.csv. Cool, it's there. This means that my automation is working. Now all you have to do is just follow the daily task and set up your own script and your own automation for the daily data load.